Hey everybody, it is Radley and I am here with the Energetic Weather Report using Angel Wisdom Tarot cards for February 28th through March 6th. But before we get to the Energetic Weather Report, let's talk about your personal Archangels for the week. Now, are you drawn to card number one? Card number two. Card number three. Or is card number four calling out your name? Okay. <clears throat> so we'll come back to those. So looking at this, this is an interesting week. Um, it does sort of tell a story, unlike last week, which was just all over the place. Uh, emotions are a little kind of all over the place this week, but I think it tells a story. So Sunday, we have six of water. Six of water. So six of water is childhood, memories about the past, um, maybe things that we thought we wanted to do and never got around to, and now we want to do them. Um, it can be people that come back into our life or just notions that come back into our life. And so to me, this, this feeling on Sunday is kind of what like stirs up emotions. Maybe there's something that kind of comes up for you and you're like, I always want to do that. Why did I not do that? <clears throat> Well, on Monday, you're doing exactly what you should not be doing, <laughs> which is nine of air. So maybe you're worrying about it, all right? Maybe you're like, oh, I really wanted to have this happen in my life, and it hasn't. Now you're really sort of like worrying about it, uh, putting a lot of anxiety or fear or concern into it. So Monday, so just don't do that. Consider this to be your heads up card uh, for the week, yeah your heads up card for the week to not go to negativity, not go to worry, don't stay up, don't lose sleep over what it is that's on your mind. But instead, a much more appropriate approach is four of air. <clears throat> And so meditate, you know, go within, think about things. It's like whatever this is that's going on within you where you're like, I, I, I might want to make a change. I might want to change how I'm doing things, or maybe there's something from my past that I didn't get around to doing, and I want to bring that into my present. Then meditate, go within, and get that inspiration, because on Wednesday, it looks to me like you start to make some changes, because this is eight of water. Again, this is a card I really love. You've heard me say this many times, probably, is that this card is the one card in Tarot that isn't, where the card isn't pushing you to go do something, it's where it's saying you have decided to do something. You have decided that there has to be more to life or there's more to, um, that there are things that you would rather have in your life and you're going to pursue them. Now, Thursday, it might be a little bit of a difficult start because we have Ace of Air. I love Ace of Air. It is a good card. It is, things will be a success, but just like this little gent who's trying to pull the, the sword out of the stone, it might not be super easy at first. Maybe you'll have to start multiple times. Maybe you'll have a few speed bumps along the road, but it's okay. You will get there and get there. You will. <clears throat> Because Friday and Saturday, I feel like it's basically the cards trying to say the energy is the same in a way. Because these two queens, um, they're not the same, but they get on. All right. So um, the, the queen of fire can do anything under the sun. She's great at multitasking. People want to help her. Uh, queen of earth, you know, she's fabulous with the family. She's fabulous with coin, <laughs> um, with money and stuff. And so there's a lot of success in these two queens. They're both uh, really good at being a success. So to me, you know, because there's not two queens of fire and two queens of earth, but those cards have similar energies running through them when it comes to success and passion, um, it kind of felt like to me that Saturday and Sunday's energies sort of blur together, which is fine. It's just the weekend you spend on this particular topic. Now, let's get back to the Archangels of the Week. If you were drawn to card number one, it is Archangel Michael listed on the Emperor card getting organized, getting structured, discipline, that's the emperor energy of it. Michael helps us to, with his sword of light to sever our energetic connections to things that no longer serve us, maybe severing your energetic connections to this fear and worry that shows up on Monday. <clears throat> A great card, the Empress was card number two, definitely great energy for working with these two queens for sure. Um, 
because it's uh, the empress's creativity, it's abundance, it's prosperity, it's motivation, all of these things that also um, Archangel Gabriel can help you with. And if you were drawn to card number three, this is just as Archangel Raguel. Now, Raguel is the friend of God. And one of the things that he's great at is helping us to meet people who can help us with what it is we want to create. So if you're looking for some people to help you, to help open doors for you for whatever it is you have decided to go pursue on Wednesday, Raguel can be really grateful, really great for helping you with that. And finally, card number four is Archangel Shamuel, uh, the eyes of God. He can help us find the things that we're looking for, that we're having difficulty finding. But beyond that, Shamuel is the Archangel of personal peace. So if you're feeling, again, a little unsettled <laughs> or feeling like, oh, I'm worried it won't happen, Archangel Shamuel can provide you with personal peace. So there you have it, the Energetic Weather Report for February 28th through March 6th. Have a great week.